Gender neutral toilets and the politics of it have seen a lot of discussion in recent years in the news media and online. But as someone who designs architectural spaces that have toilets, I wanted to find out the practicalities of designing gender neutral washrooms from a functional and design perspective. Is it practical to design a space with gender neutral toilets? What are the benefits and drawbacks? And what are the building code barriers that prevent us from doing so? One of the primary benefits of gender neutral toilets is that anyone, regardless of gender, can use whatever washroom is available. But while many people think that gender neutral toilets only help trans people and other sexual minorities, there are actually many other benefits that can help everyone. One benefit is that it can eliminate situations where the women's washroom line is out the door or the men's washroom is nearly empty or vice versa. Biologically, women require more time using the toilet than men, which often results in longer lines waiting to use the women's room. In addition, there are places like sports stadiums or other public event spaces where sometimes the attendees are predominantly one gender or the other. And it's also possible for some workplaces to have more of one gender than another. I know I have definitely gone into the men's room when I just couldn't hold it anymore. And if washrooms were gender neutral, this would alleviate a lot of unnecessary lineups and weird looks. The other benefit is that it allows parents who have opposite sex children to accompany their children into the washroom if they don't feel safe leaving them alone in a public space. It also allows adults who are caregivers to opposite sex, elderly or physically disabled relatives from accompanying that person into the washroom. Some public spaces already provide family washrooms to mitigate this problem, but these facilities are still few and far between. And as some of you are probably aware, children, older adults, people with disabilities and people with illnesses are usually not the best at just holding it in. The next benefit from an architectural design perspective is that gender neutral washrooms could be more efficient when it comes to space planning. Instead of having to provide two separate rooms, now we may only provide one, potentially saving some areas in circulation, partition walls, and plumbing cavity spaces. This allows more room for the primary activity of the space and potentially saving the user in real estate costs. Of course, it's also important to consider the potential drawbacks. Many people, male, female, or gender non-conforming, are uncomfortable with going to the toilet close to other genders due to various concerns relating to privacy, cultural preferences, and safety. This is of course where the debate often gets heated, especially in comment sections. I'm sure this one below will be no different. As for my personal preference, based on the aforementioned history of running into men's rooms when I really gotta go, growing up in the rural regions of a developing country where most toilets looked like this, actually that's probably one of the nicer ones, and living in co-ed university dorms with unisex toilets for four years, I don't really care where I go as long as I get to go. But I understand that not everyone is like me and would prefer to have some other options. One way to achieve this is to provide all three washroom options, male, female, and gender neutral. However, this doesn't really help with the whole efficiency in space planning approach. So the best option is to incorporate more single user washrooms or toilet stalls that are fully partitioned and provide more privacy. Many local building codes already mandate a single user universally accessible toilet room, which in this case can also double as toilet rooms for people who just prefer to do their business alone. But this now leads to the most tricky problem. Is it even possible to make all the toilet facilities in an entire occupancy gender neutral even if you wanted to? Unfortunately, most places in North America don't make it very easy to implement non-gendered washrooms. Codes vary depending on what state, province, or city you live in, but most building codes actually require toilet rooms to be distinctively segregated and be clearly marked as either male or female. In some cases, if your establishment, such as a small restaurant, is small enough enough to only have to provide one or two toilets, then those are generally permitted to be non-gendered. But for larger occupancies, usually the building code require them to be planned based on separate male and female rooms. So yes, until laws reform and building codes adapt, providing gender neutral toilets is going to require quite a bit of clever maneuvering around the building code in order to be implemented. So those are just my two cents as a user and designer of washrooms. But what do you guys think? Do you prefer to go to gendered or non-gendered washrooms? Do you wish there were more private, fully partitioned stalls? Are there other ways public toilets can be designed that will improve your toilet going experience? Feel free to argue in the comments.
Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, here are some more you can check out. And don't forget to subscribe for more to come. Thanks. Bye.